I have a new toy that has just arrived and will help with testing UVC light sources because it is a dedicated UVC meter. And these things are made in a range of units that can measure UVA, UVB and UVC. This is a specifically UVC one and it's got a very, very expensive sensor in the end of it with this little cover over it to protect it. And it is designed purely for UVC with a filter in the front of it to block UVA and B. And if I turn this on, and I do point at UVC sources, it does show a reading. That's about all I can say. Uh, but if I shine a UVA source into it, even directly, it doesn't flinch, doesn't show anything. So it does have filtering in that aspect. So this is also an opportunity for me to show you the packaging that comes with AliExpress UVC tubes. These are so cheap. It's like three or four dollars for a fitting and a tube, and it's uh, basically speaking, it's an 8 watt ultraviolet tube. So I'm going to open this packaging up and show you the quality of the packaging. Keep in mind, this is a fluorescent tube being shipped all around the world. And to date, and this is where it might not be, not be the case, but to date, none of them have been broken. I am tempting fate by saying that. But the packaging is very good. Sticky, sticky tape. Get out of the way. So, the fitting itself and the tube are inside this custom shaped polystyrene packaging. So, I'll cut it open. Hinge it open. This one is also intact. Look at the quality of this packaging. It's just a custom made housing just to protect this one product. And on the outside of it, depending on what you request, watch me, watch me cut right through the wires. There is the required connector. In this case, it's just a simple connector. It's not a plug. There is another little, uh, there's the mounting clips plus also you can join these through. It's worth mentioning. You can poke your fingers up the end into live connections if this was powered. Oh, there is a little end cap there that you're supposed to put in. It's not idiot proof, but that's okay. We're not idiots. It's not for us. It's for the, for the, uh, well, the, these are for us. They're not for the normal people though. Can you see little beads of mercury really about in that? Can you see that? It's got a decent portion of mercury. I think it's, is it mercury amalgam or is it actual mercury? I think it's mercury. It's rolling about in there. That's neat. Anyway, what I'm going to do is I'm going to strip this cable back. This probably copper coated aluminium cable. And I'm going to power that tube up and then we can test the meter and see if it sees the UVC and what sort of power readings it gives. Spoiler, it can because I already tried it on another tube. Uh, and various other. As soon as this arrived, I was trying it on just every UVC source I could find. But ironically, one of the things I really wanted to test it on a UVC LED, I couldn't find it. I don't know where I've put that. Right, tell you what, I'm going to pause to set this up. So I'll be back in a moment. One moment, please. Almost set up. Here's the anti-meter, the Hoppy's little brother. Here's the tube. Let's plug it in and see if the driver just goes bang. Which it might do. It is lit. Now I'm being exposed to lots of UVC. Ooh, it's a... Uh, oh, wow. Oh, ozone already. That was so fast. Uh, it's showing 10 watts. It may go down a bit, though, but that some of that will be losses in the driver of the ballast. Is this live? No. 64 milliamps, but I couldn't tell if it's live. I'd have to probe it with proper test equipment. 0.6 power factor, typical uh, driver. I'm going to let that warm up for a while. And, well, actually, you know what? You know, let's bring the lighting back. So watch your eyes. The light is coming back. The light is back. The UVC tube is not visible to under the light because it's just a, a ghostly blue glow. It's exposing me to UVC, though. And this thing is going off the scale. Well, it's not going anywhere near off the scale, but it's actually showing decent figures. Let's put it down here, right? And I'll let it warm up. So that's showing, currently showing uh, 600... I'll, I'll, I'll just read the things off. 619, it's this angle. 620, 630, it's going up. I'll let it warm up, and then we can uh, take a look at the readings and see what they are. One moment, please. And back after a reasonable time, shielding the base of my glasses, so no ultraviolet goes up, and 
makes contact the eyeballs. Don't want that. Uh, 1,159. So it is creeping up. It's all stabilizing as it warms up. And this thing is working. I point it at like the studio lights. Nothing happens other than the reflection of the UVC off them. But it is very sensitive UVC. So this is good. I shall turn this off now. I do not wish more UVC. Thank you very much. It's quite it's quite an exciting light source. But it makes me wonder why. They have so many of these being sold so cheaply on AliExpress. Oh, you really see those little beads of mercury come out of its inside there. Um, and it, all I can guess is that during the pandemic, which is still ongoing uh, in China at this point in time, I guess that the popularity of these has gone through the roof as people use them to make sterilizing cupboards for putting their stuff in so they can basically kill all the germs on it. But that's it. Uh, as always with UVC, do not expose your skin directly to it at close range or definitely don't gaze upon its exquisite turquoise light because uh, it's extremely bad if your eyes get exposed directly with the these uh, glasses. Well, there's a test. No, actually, uh, yeah, I'll set that test up and I'll do it right now. One moment, please. And here is the test. I've got another pair of glasses on at the moment. Here are the glasses I was wearing at that point in time. I've taken the holster off the unit so the sensor, I can get the glasses right up to it. When I put the glasses in front of the unit, the lenses block the UVC completely. So that's reassuring to know. I'm looking up at the, the display here and making sure that I don't look up high enough that it passes right under the glasses and uh, exposes the eyes because I know what that feels like. Anyway, I'll turn that back off again right now. So there we have it. It's a useful little tool. It's not as nice as the spectrometer that Naomi Wu loaned to me uh, during the 222 nanometer video. Oh, there's something else I should test with it. But that is perhaps another video. I shall get some UVC things together and I shall uh, test them with this unit now because it's quite good just being able to test comparative UVC sources. Incidentally, the, the switch in this is very much a very click-on, click-off type switch under there. But that's it, a UVC meter, a good tool to add to our arsenal of devices for checking out these interesting light sources.